three. underground. My goodness, Mr. Hunt. A lot of people in Glasgow don't know we have an underground. Well done, McNair. Chief Inspector Rennie, Glasgow Police, Special Branch. Still in one piece? Aye, so far. Well? I've been here three days. I hitched up from London, like you said. I'm in a doss house. Suppose you keep be a BEA to Central Hotel, eh? We must all stay in character. What have you been up to? Just hanging about the pubs in the Colton, mostly. And? It's the Neds. Ah, oh, the gang. The Kongs and the Hawks and the Zulus have made a truce that banded together. I could have told you that. How oh, could you know? Could you have told me that it was them that was breaking up all the political meetings except the Scottish Nationalists? We suspected. Did you? McNair. Now, just a minute now. Look, I'm risking my neck playing the big undercover agent. I'm not even a copper. And I'm just wondering why I'm bothering. Mr. McNair. You know we don't know everything or anything like it. We know what these thugs are doing, but we were hoping you'd call us here to tell us why. Aha. Uh -huh. You know, they're getting paid? No, it's no money these laddies are. It's excitement. All right. But who in the world's got them together as Scottish nationalists? Brody. Brody? Good God. I thought we'd lumber London with him. Ah, he's been here all the time. The Zulus are looking after him. I can't get near him. Oh, don't try. But he must. Brody had never take this on alone. Someone's promised him something. It's too well timed with the election coming. There's a political brain behind it. And I'm to find the political brain. But he's got to start by getting close to Brody. Better you than me, chum. Thanks a bunch. And today, I have learned some grave news which bears out my argument. I've been informed that the Universal Oil Company is about to cease exploration of the east coast of Scotland. Uh, they do not allege insufficient reserves of oil. On the contrary, reserves already proved would be enough to supply all of Scotland's needs for at least 25 years. But the company estimates that the return on capital would now be only 6%. And this reduction in profits is to them sufficient reason for abandoning the whole enterprise. Now, I must state plainly, and I hope the gentlemen of the press will state it equally plainly, that this decision is totally unacceptable to the Scottish National Party. Here, here. <laughs> It's like being back in the Latin class. I've heard all this stuff before. Now, wait till they get to the but questions, then you'll see. Consider, I've got a question. Why the hell did I volunteer to cover the election in Scotland? Because you thought it'd be a good booze-up. Hmm? True. Companies whose first loyalty is not to Scotland, 
but to shareholders in London and the continent. And my Lord promised, ladies and gentlemen, the only way we can control that, the only way, is to make certain that this party carries the country in the forthcoming election. Then and only then shall we have the power at last to control our destiny. Standing Thank ovation. James Henderson for that inspiring address. And now, if anyone has any questions to put to the man who will soon be the first Prime Minister of Scotland. <laughs> Has anyone any questions? Mr. Henderson, did your remarks about Universal mean that the Scottish National Party will denounce the present agreements with the oil companies? Do you work for the company, laddie? Why do you come here to an honest gathering with all that Charlotte Square blether about investment and agreements? That kind of talk stinks in the ears of decent folk. Who in the name of Bonnie Prince Charlie is that? Meg Merrilies, one of the unsung heroines of Scotland. In the West, they take to the hills when they see her more as minor. She's at the top table. She's the party's secret weapon. Whose is that oil out there in the North Sea? She's pointing at America. I'll tell you, laddie. It belongs to the people of Scotland and will not be robbed of it by the likes of you. So you can away and tell that to the Dutch and English gentry that hired you. Our bairns will have the comfort of that oil if we have to die for it ourselves. Yeah. Aye, and when Scotland's independent dive, we shall. Yeah.